Let's get smart. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today, we're going to try to install this smart Wi-Fi garage door opener deal. Um, I'm not really all that big on high-tech stuff. I don't run GPS on my motorcycles, anything like that. I'm a map and compass guy, really. Uh, but you know what? Technology has its place, and it's definitely convenient. So I have a garage door opener, obviously. That's high-tech. Um, but I've been interested in these uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi garage door openers for a while. So let's take a quick look at this one. I ended up getting a $25 uh, Scamazon gift card and like I said, I'd been kind of interested in these for a while. And I think this one was like $25 and then with tax and everything, I ended up paying $3 for it. So I'll try to remember to put the link um, for this one, but there's a million of them out there. This one just seemed to have pretty good reviews. Oh, great. See, the technology guy in me doesn't like that. I gotta look up the manual but there's one here too there you go see they they full-on boomered it for me so it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to this i'm gonna open these boxes up and we'll come right back and we'll see uh, what it takes to get this thing installed because i have no idea after opening up all the boxes you get yourself your paper manual if that's what you like to use or you could scan and they have a few uh, little fasteners and some tape zip tie you have this unit with a power cord, a USB plug adapter, this sensor, and this cable with a sensor on it. And then all you gotta do is RTFM, read the freaking manual, it tells you what to do. You got another scanny thing there, and uh, that will get you to your download for your app. So you download your app, install that, run it, and then you just follow the instructions on the app. So I've already gone through some of this stuff here. Power down the device, give it five seconds, make sure that uh, the status light blinks, that went right away. And then the app will tell you exactly what to do. It'll say, you know, to connect to your Wi-Fi system on your home, all that sort of thing. Then you're gonna connect this cable. This wasn't plugged in when you get it, you plug that in and you test it before you install all this stuff, which is really kind of nice because rather than climbing up, hooking it all up and it doesn't work, you can check right here. So then all you gotta do is this sensor and this sensor right here. All you do is you go within an inch of each other and that will tell it that the garage door is closed. In fact, it just popped up on my screen. You can't see this because it's on the side here, but my app is running right now while I'm filming with my phone. And then I take this away from there and now it says that my garage door was opened. So everything works. Now all I have to do is plug this thing in. And another thing that the uh, app does before you even get to that point is you put in your garage door opener, name and model. Mine happens to be a Genie Accelerator. And uh, before you even buy this thing, you can check all this stuff too. It, you can look it up, make sure that your garage door is gonna be compatible, but I believe this is compatible with almost all of them. But anyway, now we're getting to the point of where we install this thing because we've plugged it in, got the app installed, we've done a test on it, so now we can install it. So what it suggests that we do, unplug this of course, and then we have to power down the garage door opener. Mine is plugged in right up here, so I'm just gonna unplug it, and then we'll take you up there on the ladder. Here we are looking at the back of my garage door opener. And uh, what you wanna do is you wanna see where your push button is that's this wire for me. I know that. And those two wires are what you want to hook up these two wires on this portion. So you're going to unscrew those and leave the original two in there so you can still use your push button. But then this thing is going to also operate as a kind of remote push button, Wi-Fi push button. So those look like they are a Phillips screwdriver. There you go. So we will unscrew the first one. I'm just doing one at a time. And yeah, those are in there pretty tight, so I'm gonna get a little bit bigger screwdriver. 
brought a couple up here or maybe i might need a flat tip to get in there anyway <laughs> i'll get those loose and i'll show you what that looks like once we got it hooked up yeah one hand on the camera one hand on the screwdriver on the ladder safety third okay i got those hooked up so now i'm probably going to take the double-sided tape that was provided in the kit and i'm probably going to mount this thing just over here uh, on the side of my unit and you can probably mount it wherever you'd like but uh, that's where I'm gonna end up putting it, I believe. That way I can still access the uh, light cover and all that. And then we gotta run this sensor. So we will do that after we get this mounted up here. As you can see, I got it hooked up here. Now the next thing they want you to do is to run this sensor wire to wherever you, you need to hook it up to get the one inch or less clearance when the garage door is closed. So on mine, this track system actually has like a little channel here with these clips where the original wires and stuff are all routed. So that's what I'm using. Um, if I didn't have that, you could, um, you know, like use little plastic uh, staple things, like a little plastic piece with two tiny nails and you could staple it up onto your rafters or zip tie it somewhere, whatever. But I'm gonna route it up to the front and then probably to the top. So once I get this routed up here, then I'll bring you back over there and show you there I've got the sensor wire ran up here and they give you enough wire to run this thing for like a bus garage I guess probably have twice as much wire as I need so I wrap that all up here put a twisty tie around it the one that came with the package actually and then I zip tied it right up here to the end of the frame it's out of the way ran the sensor wire down here and I screwed it right to this piece now every garage is different every garage door is going to be a little bit different but um, according to the according to our manual I can put these things where was that picture at I saw they don't have to be um, face to face like like that they can also be like this as long as they're within an inch of each other when it's closed and more than an inch apart when it's open so that's how I'm gonna mount it I've already screwed it onto here I'm probably going to just put a uh, the sticky tape on there for now. And then once I test it a little bit, I'll come back and I'll put two small um, sheet metal screws in there. Now, actually, I've, I don't know. We'll see. These will go through easily. Otherwise, i got to come up here with a drill. Let me just get the drill. I'll do it right now. <laughs> all right, we're going to try this. I got my GoPro hooked up here so that we can show you the app and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully this is working okay. There's our connection right there all right probably have this on wide angle or something terrible i apologize if it's not the best but i don't usually utilize multiple cameras to shoot things fire up my phone here okay there's the app all you got to do is press this button i'll bring you right here we go opening and it says right here garage door has been opened so this thing will tell you anytime your garage door is open or closed as well so it's kind of nice see if you have a friend who uh, has to come over and borrow your socket wrench or your screwdriver or whatever well you can just open the garage door for them and then when they're done they just say all right I'm gonna close it for you And there you go. Not too bad. So like I said, I'll try to put a link for this one, but there's lots of uh, other ones out there and I'm pretty positive. The majority of them are pretty simple to install like this one. This one, very happy with it. It's uh, not obtrusive. I didn't need to run any sort of cables to my uh, router or anything silly like that. I don't know if any of the rest of them are like that, but very easy to install. And it seems like it works just fine. Hey, you know, if, if you have a garage, a garage door opener is a great thing to have. And uh, having easier and more ways to open it and, you know, the security aspect of it as well, knowing when it's open or closed or, uh, you know, if you're getting like some of us, every one of us getting older every day, you know, and you drive away and, dang, did I close my garage door? Well, you can just check on this app instead of turning around and driving a mile back home or whatever. So that's kind of nice. 
Okay, if you're liking my content, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.